Hi, Chad here with Purple Car Life, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about firewood. Uh, it's kind of a two-part issue with firewood that I have. First of all, I'm stacking up quite a bit of rounds here. I've got several stacks, and then I've got some split wood and some smaller rounds. And this is not the best storage location. So if you watched the video a little while ago, you saw we got quite a bit of snow overnight. And the issue with that is we try to keep the wood burner going in the basement. But all this wood gets covered with snow. So even though it's seasoned and dry from the inside, once it's all covered with snow, it's too wet for me to burn in the wood burner. So I have to take it in the basement a couple of days in advance, let it dry out in there under the heat of the wood burner, and then I'm able to burn it. So not a great place uh, out in the open to store wood. And we've got stacks like this in other areas of the woods um, just waiting for us to go pick them up. But it's not a great location because you can see even days later, it's still frozen together, still has snow on it, and this would have to be taken inside and thawed out for a while before we could burn it. And since we're mostly working from home now, we're burning the fire a lot more than we used to, using more wood than we used to, and I've got to take more wood in in advance to let it thaw out. Then it's sitting around in the basement, you know, it gets the basement more dirty because you've got multiple stacks of drying out wood and then the wood that's ready to burn. So we own about 30 acres here where the house sits, but that's part of much larger family homestead acreage. So we have a lot of woods and you can see, especially right now when there's still some snow in the woods, that there's a lot of downed lumber in the woods, ready to cut up, ready to be used as firewood. Uh, while it's not free heating fuel for us because you've got the chainsaw expenses, the the gas, the time, the splitting. Um, it's certainly wood that's easy for us to get to on our own land and then bring up here and use it for our own wood. And then also I'd, I'd like to start selling some in the future. If you haven't watched Adam on Hometown Acres, he's another local Pennsylvania YouTube channel and he does a great job showcasing how to start a successful firewood business. So again, Hometown Acres, check out that channel. I love that Easton made axis log splitter that he uses. Um, I think it's a great machine. And as I consider what log splitter I'd like here on Purple Collar Life, I'm really torn between the Wolf Ridge and the Easton made. So if you have suggestions, I'd like to see that down in the comments below. So again, check out Adam on Hometown Acres. It's a local Pennsylvania channel that's doing a great job of showing how to make money on a firewood business. He's actually an accountant by trade and runs the firewood business as a side hobby. For getting the firewood out of the woods today, we're gonna to be using the Polaris Ranger. Jennifer and Olive are going to get it right now. So as I start to think about projects for the winter and the spring and summer next year on this channel, I'd really like to make another building. And I know it's crazy. We've got the shed, we've got the garage, we've got the big building. And that's a lot of space to store things. But it's not anything that's open enough to be like a wood storage space. The other thing I'd really like to make is an implement storage place. A channel that I'd like to mention too, if you're not already watching it, is Rock Hill Farm and Homes. And Brock on that channel has an excellent video about building his own implement storage system in one of his buildings. I love that system that he's made. I'll put a link to that video down below. And that video really, ex really explains why you need to store stuff inside, why his system makes sense because it's all stacked and easy for him to get to, and you're not moving one thing out of the way to get to something behind it. Great system, great channel, great video. But if I build something, I want it to be a woodshed slash implement storage area. So inside there, I'd like to have enough room for the wood splitter, the wood that's seasoning, and then our stored wood to burn for winter so that I'm not carrying in multiple stacks, letting it dry out before we burn it. It's similar, I'm thinking, to something that Mike Morgan built, but maybe a little bit longer. So I've got room in there for the log splitter to be protected from the weather, and then also room for the wood to be split and the wood that we've already split. If you haven't already, go down and click that subscribe button and the bell right beside it to be notified when we put out new videos. Make sure you're also liking and commenting on our videos. We really appreciate it. That really helps our videos do better and be shown to more people. 
So thank you for that continued support. I didn't intend for this to be a shout out video, but I do have one more channel I want to mention to you. If you're not watching John on a Raider Bit Will Do, you're really missing out. Especially right now, he's getting ready to give away an Artillion rack system for the back of a tractor. And one of the great things about that rack system, you can hold your chainsaw in it behind the tractor and it really protects it. I don't have a great way on the Ranger to haul the chainsaw yet, so I usually just throw it in the bed here. And then once I've got wood, I put it up on the seat or up on the floor in the front. Um, so if you have a tractor, make sure you check out a Ritter Bit Will Do. John's a great guy. He and his wife are both teachers and they're teaching remotely from home right now. Great channel. Um, make sure you check that out so you can register to win that Artillion system. Another great product by Artillion. It's only in the 20s. So you'll see this oil is really thick and sticky. You can see it's stringy. It's like caramel. So we've got the steel MS-271, my new favorite chainsaw, taken in the woods. So like I said, this video is kind of about firewood and storing firewood. And I need to get out there and cut some more firewood. I showed you in a previous video the top of a maple tree came down. I'd like to get some of that cut up and moved up here to store. The other nice thing about a woodshed, none of this would be sitting on the ground. I'd make sure that there's limestone, maybe even some pallets in there for flooring so that everything has room for the air to get around it. Uh, I think it's a great project coming up in the spring or summer. Me to do it for you? <laughs> yeah, if you could. <laughs> straight back. That's good. Now I'd much rather start with this part of the tree that's still standing because I much rather cut up big chunks of wood than limb a top. But this can stay here all winter long. It'll be fine and up out of the snow while the top you can see is already getting covered with snow. So we'll start limbing this and take in the pieces that we can. 
right now with a little bit of snow left on the trees that are down, you can see how much wood we have ready to cut up in our land without even taking a single tree down. Lots of tree tops, lots of trees. Now some of those will be rotted already and not any good, but others like that one we cut from across the path just to get in here, that's still really good wood. Good firewood right here on our land. Right there, Jennifer found some bear poop. Black bear are common here in our woods in Northwest Pennsylvania. off of one tree top. You know? Yep. So much better than cutting down a salmon tree. Well I wish this tree wouldn't have fallen down. Yeah. So like I said earlier in the video, today we're just cleaning up this maple tree. I wanted to talk to you about those storage options for firewood. Leaving it set outside is not a great option. Jennifer doesn't like tarps over top of the firewood. She thinks that doesn't look good when you look out the back windows of our house. Correct. So probably next mm -hmm. spring or summer we'll make a, a shed to store the firewood that's ready to burn so that another it doesn't have to come Another shed. <laughs> Every wife loves hearing another shed. A wood shed. Uh -huh. for the log splitter and the ready to burn wood. Uh -huh. You can see a couple more trees that fell down in there. Holy cow, those are huge. Yep. They're going right across the creek. So this is one of many creeks that run through our property. Like I said, our property is really spring fed. There's some more deer poop. So all the springs create lots of creeks and lots of swampy, muddy areas. People are probably going to make fun of us for saying creek. Yeah. What do you like? Creek? I don't like creek. Stream? Mm -hmm. Tributary? Creek. But this creek flows pretty much as it is right now most of the time. We showed you in the summertime when it was really dry that this creek was totally dried up, which is only the second time I've ever seen that in my life. And um, when there was a lot of water, this is raging over the banks and just kind of flows through this whole area. You can see where it's even up on the edges it's been through here before. And as beautiful as this is, we have about 30 acres. Yeah. 
um, in the mid I, I said in the beginning it's 30 acres of our land in the middle of homestead other acres but this is what prevents us from really being able to use the four-wheeler and his dirt bike because you don't get very far and then you come across this again and you have to try to figure out a way to cross it right lots of cricks we'd need lots of bridges and i like to make the bridges heavy enough that not only are they safe but you can take the side by side which is a lot heavier than a four-wheeler or the dirt bike and you can see it's pretty thick in some of these woods if you like videos like this make sure you click that like button subscribe and comment thanks we'll see you the next time so I did want to mention again those two channels. Make sure you check out Rock Hill Farm and Homes, that's Brock, and then check out Adam on Hometown Acres. Both really great channels that we enjoy watching and hopefully you'll enjoy watching also. You can see how that chainsaw holder would be a good thing. I'll be in to start the roast. After an afternoon of slacking, I'll look for more help.